Hi, welcome to writetotop.com. I'm Adam. In today's video lesson, I'm going to write a letter with you. I'm going to actually show you how I wrote a letter for the IELTS Task 1 General Test. Okay? In the general test, you have to write a letter, about 150 words or more. You're going to be given a specific task, which I will show you in a moment. This is good also for those of you who are going to take the CAE and may need to write a letter for that test. And in general, it's very good to know how to write a letter because you're going to have to do this in everyday life anyway. Emails, letters, almost the same thing, just the speed of delivery is a little bit different. So let's start with the task. Okay. So here is the task. You have recently moved into a new rental apartment. Your neighbor plays loud music late at night, even after several attempts to get him to stop. Write a letter to the landlord to complain. In your letter, inform the landlord of your attempts to speak to the neighbor. Explain why it's important for you that the loud music stops. Ask the landlord to do something or suggest what you might do. Write at least 150 words. Do not include an address. Begin your letter as follows. Start with dear. Now, first of all, right away you need to understand. Are you writing a formal, semi-formal or informal letter? This is a semi-formal letter, and how do you know? Well, think about who you're writing to. Your landlord. Do you know this person? Yes. Are you friends with this person? No. So you're not friends, it's not informal. You know this person, it's not the first time you're communicating with him or her, so it's not very formal either. So it's a business relationship. This is somebody that you work with. You have a business relationship, not necessarily a friendly one, because you recently moved into the apartment. You haven't gotten to know this person very well, but he or she showed you the apartment, gave you the keys. They probably live there and they, they take care of the building. So you know each other, but you're not necessarily friends. Okay. So now let's look at how we're going to go step by step. Your first paragraph, one, maybe two sentences. Tell the person why you're writing the letter very quickly. Get to the point. Now, if you're ever going to be writing business letters, this is crucial. Don't waste the reader's time by talking about this, that, the other. Get to the point. Let them know exactly what they're dealing with right away. Dear Mr. Reynolds, make up a name. I am writing to you to complain about the music coming from my neighbor's apartment every night. Very straightforward, very clear, very direct. Why am I writing? This music is very loud and sometimes does not stop until 3 a.m. Here's why I'm writing, here's the problem. Very clear, very direct. Now, you're gonna tell this person what you've done about it, what you have tried, how you have tried to fix the problem. That's one of the things they asked you to do in the task. I have asked my neighbor several times to stop playing music after 11 p.m., reasonable, or at least to turn it down to a reasonable level. So I've spoken to the neighbor, I've asked him to stop or at least turn it down. He always apologizes and promises to be quieter, but then repeats his actions the following night. So I've tried to speak with him. He says, yeah, sure, no problem, but then does it again. So he's ignoring me. Okay, here's the background. Here's what I've done to try to fix this problem. Next, a little bit about me and why it's important that this music stops. I am a student, as you know, because you're the landlord, you gave me the apartment and I begin my days early. It is very hard for me to concentrate on my studies when I do not have enough sleep and it is impossible to sleep with that loud music on all night. Some of my teachers have even noticed a drop in my performance due to fatigue. Now here you have to be very careful in this particular part of the letter. Some people try to get a little bit too creative and they get nervous because they can't think what to say. You, have, you all have life experiences. You don't need to be very creative here. Just make up a very simple story about whatever the situation is. Always think back about your student days or your work days or your home days. Something has happened. You have experiences enough to make up a very simple back story, a little background information here. Okay. Next, call to action. Make sure you're very clear about what you want the person to do or be very clear about what you're going to do depending on what the task asked you to do. I hope you can do something about this situation. 
please ask the tenant in apartment 305, make up a number, to stop playing music after 11 p.m. If this situation does not stop immediately, I will have no choice but to move out and demand a full refund of my rent and deposit. So tell him to stop or I will leave. Very simple. Okay. Now keep in mind, you have a 150 word minimum. So you can't be too simple with your sentences. You have to add a little bit of fluff and you want to get above 150. I think my letter in total with the dear Mr. Reynolds and best regards with my name is about 192 words. Okay. So it's a good number. I'm saying everything that the task wants me to say. Very simple, very direct. You don't have to have fancy writing. You don't have need complex sentences. You need to deliver the message clearly. Okay. End it. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. Be polite. Best regards. You can write best regards, yours sincerely, whatever you feel like in this case, and your name. Use your name. Don't think about a fake name. It doesn't make any sense to. And that's it. So here's the full letter. You can see the full letter in one shot. Okay. Very, very simple. People make this much more complicated than it needs to be. Don't be complicated. Get to the point right away. Get, make up a very simple backstory to tell, to basically fulfill the demands of the task and end it as quickly as you can. 192 words. Everything in the task has been done. Okay. It's very simple language, very simple sentence structures. I have one, two, three, four paragraphs. The thank you for your cooperation is just an ending. Always, always be sure to have your call to action. Your last paragraph, what you want the person to do or what you're going to do. Why are you writing what you want done? Very, very simple. The story, not that difficult. So that's it. If you have any questions about this, please visit my site, writetotop.com. Join the public forum there and you can ask all the questions you have. You can also ask down below in the comment section here on YouTube. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have lots of videos to help you with your writing for all of these English tests and for everyday life because writing is very important. And the better your writing gets, the, better, the easier it is to read and all kinds of other things. So, Come back again real soon. I'm going to have lots of videos coming up and I hope to help you become better writers. I will see you again soon. Bye bye.